Go to sleep. Go to sleep, Mr. Megafarium. Close your eyes. It'll be all right. Just gonna stick this arrow up your bum. We are back, boys. And today, there is gonna be no silly dance. There is gonna be no cake shot today because we are fully focused. We are fully serious. For t you know what? You can have a backflip because that's a serious move right there. But we're gonna get a Megafarium today. After last time out, it was a horrible day. We lost River, we, which, which is our Baryonyx in the cave. We lost a bunch of Raptors. We then got a 150 Megafarium that then got killed right at the end to a Rex. So today, we're gonna get us a Megafarium. We're gonna, you know, never back down, never what? I can't hear you. Never back down, never what? Right. We're going to do this. But before we do that, I do have a couple things to show off. <laughs> um, my base, I changed it a little bit. I've built some stuff. So the bridge, I had, uh, I asked you like opinions on it. And some of the, for some reason I never thought of, just make the roof triangle. And the bridge looks so much better now. I've kept the little beams underneath it because it looks like it's holding up. But yeah, a triangle roof for the loud fish. Look at that. That looks 10 times better. Yeah, that, that's what we definitely needed. So, yeah, we, we did that. And then what we've done is I've extended our house a little bit because we started to run out of room. So I decided to build a little out back cut. I don't know. I don't really know what it's called, but a place for the forges. It just kind of opens up this house a bit, leaves a bit more room. But then if we do come down the back here, we have a barn. Now... I paint it red because, you know, like a red barn and stuff. I wanted to paint the pillars white. Apparently, that's not a thing. Uh, if I bring this out just here and go, yeah, let's paint this. So these are the colors I created. So we've got like white here. Um, it, it doesn't make it white. It just makes it very bright. Like, I don't know, just the normal color. Uh, that Apparently, there is no white, which is really weird. I tried the white. I tried um, the gray. And what else do we have? Uh, the Wisp. Th there is no white. It's like a razor. It's weird. Like, what do you mean this is a white color? I wanted white all over it, but it is what it is. So we've got a barn. In here, this is just pure storage. I'm just going to put loads of stuff in here. We've got wood. We've got thatch. Uh, we've got stone. We've got fiber. We've got random stuff. And we've got blueprints. So I can now just come in here, put all my stuff in there, instead of having to, like, get the house all full and stuff. And we also have flags for the ranch, finally. So everyone that sent me uh, pictures for the ranch, thank you very, very much. Um, I've tested pretty much all of them. The way Ark works, it's not perfect like some of the colors fade and it doesn't bring some of the colors like onto the flag so i kind of like experimented with ones which just kind of looked the best with what we have i liked this one um the axe man is cut off a tiny bit but yeah this one i like so it says axe man raj has got a picture it's meant to be crystal in the middle there now it did say some on the hat it should say crystal on the medal but again you know good old arc and stuff but I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we've got the Axeman Ranch here with Crystal with a cowboy hat. I hope we can put a pink cowboy hat on Crystal at some point. Um, and then one more tiny thing we have that's different. Uh, that trike over there wandered into the base as a child yesterday. I adopted it. Uh, it's now living in the pastures. I think I'm going to claim that hill. I'm going to probably fence that off later. And that can be like, I don't know, you know... A, if a baby dino walks in, we adopt it. We don't need it. Uh, it could go over there. Um, also, I've just realized my T-shirt I'm wearing is inside out and back to front. So I need to fix that because I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, much better. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to snag this kibble. We're going to get on our new RG, which is, we do have a name for finally. Pidgeotto, our new RG. We're going to fly around. We're going to find... It has to be over like a 135 Megafarium. Obviously, we want max level. Um, whether or not we get that, we'll just kind of have to see. But we'll, we'll fly around, spot what we need. Then we'll get on Crystal again and just tame it how we did last time. So we'll check all the regular spots. So we've got like down here. We've got over there up near the forest. I don't want to go 
too deep and far into the forest because wolves, plovias, like a singular raptor is going to struggle a wee bit. So before I do forget, and as we're flying around looking for these mega farums, uh, go ahead and whack a like on the video. Uh, completely free to do. It's one of the only free things left in life that you can... Oh, that day don't scare me then. It's one of the only free things left in life you can do. It supports the channel massively. I do appreciate it. Uh, also, subscribe if you are new. You can always unsubscribe later if you feel like me and you just don't have that connection um i promise i won't be that upset i definitely won't cry myself to sleep at night so you've not got to worry about that that never happens uh follow the social medias we've got twitter tiktok discord and all that stuff and if you want to support the channel that little bit more and you have the means become a channel member as little as one dollar for a whole month that's one dollar for a whole month and you get an exclusive video every friday so that's like what four free videos that no one else gets to see, only members and Patreons see. So, yeah, do that stuff. Supports the channel, like, in absolute crazy ways. And then one last thing. Go ahead and check out the Sausage Party channel. It's the channel with me, Syntac, Evo, and Jim. We post every Friday, the occasional Sunday. It is an amazing channel. And if you're not there, you're square. I don't really know what that means, but it means summit. Um, all right, I'm going to continue looking for this megatherium because i've seen one so far i've seen a level 60 and also i'm nearly out of stam also i don't want to be too far away from base because getting this dude back home is going to be just a ball eight uh there's one right in front of us Can i just uh I'll, I'll stick you here with me you stick here with me there we go great sentence axe let's just check the level on this because this is going to be big this is going to be huge are we ready 45 and a 20 amazing uh i'll kill these all right, real quick change of plan, unless this guy... Ugh, okay, that's the highest level we've seen so far, a 95. I've kind of done not a full lap of the snow. Like, I definitely didn't see every Mega Megapherum in the area. I killed maybe 8 to 10. Um, left a couple levels there just because I could be bothered to kill them. I... Yeah, that 95 is the highest level I've seen. So... I'm just going to go take a quick visit to the, like, outskirts of the Redwoods. I don't want to go deep in there because I'm going to get Mike raptured and bad things are going to happen. Just going to see if maybe perhaps there is a better level mega fame around there. Um, if we literally just stick to the coastline of the Redwoods, we, we see a handful. Maybe, like, just inside the Redwoods. Only issue is, yeah, it's, it's full of alpha raptors and micro raptors and pegos and it's gonna be a horrible time but we'll just have a little peek and if not hopefully all the mega ferrums i've killed in the snow will like respawn back in and be high level and stuff but yeah uh not seeing anything just yet so this is the area we're kind of looking for i don't want to go like like i said like deep into the redwoods but every now and then also on that drop they will come out like to the beach or at least like to them trees so i can see them uh back up there i saw some bears on the beach which means that i am correct like th this all classes as the redwoods uh let's quickly go snag this but i'm gonna follow this around until we like go to the swamp remember where we saw the unicorn i want to go to like that area all right are we gonna be piranid problem uh grab and get out of that out yep yep out out cool I think we got a Daedon saddle. Yeah, Daedon saddle. Got some soap. Oh, never tree sat. Uh, drop that. What is happening? Don't like what's going on there. What is knocking trees down? Okay. Um, where are we on the map? We're actually. Is my tree platform up here? We can go and put this uh, sap tap on. <laughs> we can have a third one and get even more sap. All uh, right, Parasophariums. Any Megapheriums? That would be really nice. Uh, we saw a couple around the other side. Maybe I need to go check around there. Here's me, uh, me tree, though. That's very convenient. Thank you very much. Drop. So I can place this. Um, all right, maybe I have to get off of you to do that. There we go. An extra tap. Nice. We've now got three taps on there. Good shit. We got one. Uh, it's 95. Okay. That's like... 
the, the best we've seen. So we've seen a 95 and a 95 here. Do you have a friend around? Oh, there's one in front of us. I was going to say, they normally spawn in like a pair. Oh, 135? Okay. Now that's the highest we've seen. Um, okay. It's not really ideal. I would like at least a 140 though. I think that's literally just a bit off what we need. I feel like we could do better. I feel like we could do slightly better. Um, okay. I'll tell you what. Let's leave here. I know exactly where that guy is. We'll be able to come back if we need to. But that's a 135. It shouldn't die. So let's head back up to the snow. Let's take one last look back in the snow. See if we can find a 140, 145, or a 150. If not, I guess we settle for that one. All right. Finally, we found what we're looking for. There is a 145 female, I think I was. And then I think this one was a level 15 or something. He's level 15. Uh, actually, you've just fell down there, which is good. Because it means I can actually take care of you about your friend being pissed. Okay, a 145 I will settle with. Uh, it's better than the 135, but it's not as good as the 150. But uh, I feel like we can't pass this opportunity up. Uh, boom, right. There's you. Done. Okay, so uh, you're just down there. I will be back for you. So I believe if we come out of here... All right, sick. Okay, cool. Uh, right, what we need to do is get on to crystal. We're going to tame this the same we did with the last one. We're going to do it on foot. Um, and we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Because I can't pick that dude up. Uh, I think you can only use Quetzals to pick them up. Trap. I don't think we need one, to be fair. And I can't... I don't know. Maybe I could build a trap with the RG, but I think I might be alright with Crystal. Crystal's got this. Uh, you can have a bit more stam onto you. Alright, let's go get set up. And, you know, serious game face now. We're going to get this high level Megatherium. And it's going to be easy. And no drama. Because never back down, never what? Alright, Crystal. It is you and me against the world. As it's been from very early on. I have to say, Crystal is the best Raptor. Crystal's the best Raptor we've ever had in any Ark series playthrough thing. So, what I've done... Once again, I've just kind of dropped off all me stuff I don't need. <gasps> uh, God damn it! Okay, we'll be fine here, right? Uh, don't break me armor, please. Okay, can we unstun? Jesus Christ. Okay, get it, Crystal. You got this. I'll try and help. Maybe. Oh, I'm hitting Crystal. Yeah, yeah. Tag team it. Ow, nice. All right. Cool, great start. I was about to say. Um, yeah, I've dropped off everything I don't need. So I've just got my narcotics, my kibble, and obviously my trank arrows. Uh, I guess eat some this real quick. But yeah, pretty much with raptor weight. Um, yeah, can't really carry too much. Okay, well, let's hope that that's not a sign of what's to come. And that was just a one-off random... Attack. There's also a wolf. Are you on your own? We can fire one wolf. Oh, God. Two wolves? We can do two wolves. All right. Th th maybe this is a side to come. All right. Crystal handled that nicely. Okay. Got to drop this. You can keep a bit of that. All right. I just need to get to... um. Hmm. I need to actually cross... Uh, I'm just trying to think what's the best way up and around here. I need to go straight across. And I know this is like all cavernous. Is that the word? Like there's going to be holes and gaps everywhere. But I feel like there's less creatures. Uh, no, maybe I can get straight across. Cool. All right. I'm not 100% sure where I'm actually meant to be going. I just know it's up here somewhere. So, Crystal... Keep your eyes and ears open, because there could be plovers and wolves. Um, this thing fell down a little cliff, remember, didn't it? And then the tree line was, like, just there. I think it's around this way somewhere. Oh, I think that might have been where we uh, killed his friend. Hello? 
Are you what I'm looking for? One, four, five. Okay, boys. Um, are we ready? Crystal, are you ready? Never back down, never what? Let's go. We've got this. Oh, are you stuck? <gasps> oh, we might really have this. Oh, that is poggers and coggers. Oh, that is amazing. Remember the last one we tamed where he was like hovering in the air? This dude's just stuck between a rock and a hard place. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, ho, ho. see who needs a trap when the natural rock trap forms around it. Bro. This is amazing. Um, I know I should be like leaving a few seconds between shooting these, but I want to get as much top or into them as I can before it does find out it can escape. Come on, little dude. Oh, this, th this could not have gone any better. We had a little, you know, the plover and the wolves at the start. But this? Let's maybe just start slowing down on him because he's getting a bit of blood. Don't want to hit him as he's um, falling asleep as well. Oh, I can't believe this. Okay. I think he should be close to going out now. Come on, Mr. Sir. Let's go sleep. Because we can't tell if he's running or not, which sucks here. <laughs> but he's trapped, so don't complain, Axe. And boom. I just don't want to shoot it as it falls asleep. I have a really bad feeling that's going to happen. And now I've said it, I've probably just manifested it into the world. So good job. Well done, Axe. Don't think you have a headshot because that's right between the eyes. Okay, that's got to be a run there, right? You're trying to fall. Come on. Go sleep. Do I have to sing you a lullaby? Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Mr. Megaferium, close your eyes. It'll be all right. Just gonna stick this arrow up your bum. Nope, that didn't work. I thought it was a good lullaby as well. Any second now. Let's get. And that's it. Bro! Look at that. We have a 145 Megaferium down. And he didn't even try and hurt us. Okay, there's your kibble. Uh, he had loads of health left, to be fair. Um, how much? I don't have any hide. God damn. Hmm. I was thinking about maybe making spikes. I mean, I don't see any creatures about, but obviously that could change. See, the last one where we tamed it, it was on top of a rock, which was kind of cool. This time, we've got things that could run off the cliff. We've got things that could come out of the trees. Um, we could leave the area because we know we don't have to feed it any narcotics. Um, I might do that. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So, we have a 145 Megatherium. We're going to leave him there. We don't need any narcotics because it's got the kibble and that's just how it works. So what we're going to do is... Uh, I mean, I'm just going to check level on you for no reason at all. You're a six there. Let's go home. Let's try not to be, like, eaten by anything. Leave the area. So hopefully nothing does get him. And then we just come back when it's tamed up. Nice. Okay, good shit, Crystal, as per usual. Can I squeeze on down in here? I feel like this is a safer way home. Uh, no, it's not. That's an Alphraptor. Ah! Whoa! <laughs> oh, that was close. That could have been very bad. That could have been very, very, very bad. Okay. I'm just gonna head this way home instead. Alphraptor and Aplavia. All right, Megatherium has tamed up. We are on our way to collect our prize. So what I've done, I've made a Megatherium saddle. It's just a primitive one. We don't have any blueprints. We don't have any good ones just yet. But if we do get attacked uh, like we did last time, at least we've got a little bit of protection on it. So hopefully we'll be able to survive. 
between that and obviously me, Crystal, uh, we should be fine. Apart from maybe that wolf that's behind us. Uh, if we just ignore that, this is how we just deal with life. Ignore the problem and it will go away. Maybe. All right, how do we get up here? Like that, like so. Oh, you're a god, Crystal. You're an actual goddess. Hey, hello, Miss Megatherium. All right, pop that onto you. Give me them back. Can I squeeze you out this rock? See, so you weren't even stuck. What the heck? Okay. Uh, right, you follow me. We're going to get the hell out of here. And we're going to get home. All safe and sound, right? That's going to be a thing. So what we'll do... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say anything. We're not going to say anything until we get home. I'm not, I'm not going to do O. We're just going to get you home. And then we'll decide what's happening after that. Okay, so... That's going to hurt a little. Don't want Megafam going down that hole. Come on. This way, little miss. I'm going to take you across here. That's it. Look at them not falling down all the holes and falling off a cliff now. Look at their big intelligent brain. Sort of. Come on. <laughs> all right. So down there is the Alpha Raptor. So we're going to continue heading this way. Maybe. A couple pigs. We should be able to find the pigs. But like, wh where are you going? Come this way. All right. I take it back. They're big dumb. They're, they're going away. That, that, I'm over here. Do I need to backflip? Hello. This way. There we are. I feel like riding them might be better. I don't know. All right, so there's a carnage kind of there. I'm just trying to avoid... That's an Alpha Raptor. We might have to fight these pigs. All right. Um, Megatherium. We've got some pigs to fight, unfortunately. All right. Level 10. We've got this. All right, so just 171 damage. Okay, there's one. Well, there's another pig, but it's apparently not here. Sick. There it is. All right, come on then. Level 105. And... Three, two, one. Pig is dead. Good shit. All right. Uh, run back. Run back. Run back. The Alpha Raptor made his way just there. Can you run over this rock? No, don't go around. Ah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Again, if we don't look at the problem, it's not there, right? Just ignore it until it goes away. Okay, that worked. He or she a thousand percent ran into that Alpha Raptor. I don't know how that thing didn't get us. Okay. Come on, why? What are you running in slow motion for? This is not an action movie hero. Action hero movie. Okay. Will you jump off this one? Because I did. Okay, good stuff. So now we're going to just keep going this way. That's it, keep following. You're doing great. You're doing so good right now. And you're going to make that jump? Let's see. Uh-huh, okay. So we'd like to see. I think we can literally just jump down there because that's the way we came. Still following? Good stuff. This is what we like to see. All right, jump off that one. You're allowed to. I'm, I'm allowing it. All right. Nearly there. Everyone just hold your breath. We got this. We have got this. Just check in. Any Rexes in the area? Any Alpha Raptors in the area? Come on. Around the rocks. I see the ranch. I need to get rid of this trap at some point because it's really ugly. And entering this way. Don't... Why would you run that way? I am not stood there. You're meant to be following behind me. That's it. Go on. You can do it. All the wild creatures managed to get in. There we go. Right. I'm going to bring the Megatherium all the way down to this side. Because I do not want it fighting Alpha Raptors and RGs and all this stuff. So Megatherium, your home for now is just here. Hey! There we go. Megatherium. Okay, uh, let's dismiss that. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put these stats into the Dodo decks, uh, and I'll tell you whether or not we got a good one.
so we're actually in luck here we got something good um right i don't know how best to do this but i guess we got good melee if this was on the soul ball mod remember how we used that we have 49 points into melee so we got a really good melee one it also had um decent health 37 health 37 stam 32 oxygen 38 into food which is unnecessary really 34 into weight so we've got low weight but then 49 into melee this thing's sick so what we need hopefully is to find a male with better health um i don't even if we get a 150 i think like that melee is it says it's very high um for this so that's good we got pretty much what we look for this is a good base this is a good start so definitely gotta be in the lookout for uh, a male one of these um, so I guess, do I take a picture of them stats? Is that something I need to do? I've not done pure vanilla breeding. I'm going to take a picture of these stats. I feel like it's important. Um, all right. Boom. Got that. So then I'm not going to level you up. I don't think until we don't need you anymore. Because what we need to do is get a male now with good health. Start breeding them. Get them perfect males and females. Then start creating the army. Obviously, we'll be doing that over time but yeah step number four for the brood mother i mean step one two three was the caves number four is megatherium number five is second megatherium step six is the army uh, i love it and then next step we're going to do today is going to go and get some plant x species because i am sick and tired of these rgs and even though i feel like the plant species will ruin the aesthetic of the ranch i am sick and tired of my creatures just being all over the place so what we're gonna do um i need to go and grab me sickle which i put somewhere and we're gonna head into the swamp for the end of the episode and get some plant species x stuff to protect this goddamn base where was that other megatherium real quick as we're this direction because oh, it's out below us because we have a female at home right um Wild time bow. I'm pretty sure that's not what I'm looking at. There's one below us. Female. Okay, that sucks. I was going to say, if that's a male, it's not the worst. Like, it's really not that bad. Um, Alright, so... I don't know if I've seen plant species X um, bush. Because I've just kind of sprinted through here. I know where there's normally some. And this would be way easier if I had river. Alright, big giant bug over there. Uh, right, looking for... I don't like the sounds of all that stuff. Looking for a bush. Looking for a bush. I used to remember exactly where there was one. Actually, is that the ruins over there? Is there not one around here? Uh, Alright, plant species bus, bush. Aha! Found one. Perfect. Alright, we all good here? I, that's a little harder to see than... On the old arc. Um, all right, I think we're good. Oh, God. Don't know the things moving in front of us. Okay, that's all we need. That's all I need. Just them seeds. Uh, I'm going to get some crop plots. We're going to place a couple of these round. Now, obviously, when we was doing the farming and the water and stuff, all of you start explained more how we do um, all the water and stuff. Don't need taps. I just need to make sure the crop plots are in that circle and they're watered. That's all we got to do. That seems chilling to me. So let me go home. Let me just make a couple crop plots. And we'll set these plant species up. And then no more Argies attacking the base. Oh, it's going to be so peaceful. All right. So we're placing these here. So what I've done, I've placed two over there. That one, that one. And I'm probably going to have this one just here. I don't want loads all over the place. I still want this area to look like a ranch. I don't want it to look like a war zone. Uh, that's why I've been reluctant to do this. But I think it's time. I think it is now time. Alright, let's grab some of this. Get some more weight for whatever reason. Okay. I'll be back for you in a minute, Mr. Dung Beetle. Okay, let's try. So, this should be irrigated. Perfect. So, we pop one of you in. Pop all this fertilizer in. Alright. Fertilize, plants. Yep. Okay, it's doing the stuff. Nice. Now, I think this grows real fast. Um, I've never had settings of plant growth this fast, but when I did my crops, they did grow very, very fast. Okay, and then this one. 
So yeah, it looks like plant X species seeds don't spoil. But the other ones, the other normal seeds do. Okay. That's good to know. Alright, give me some more of this stuff. Thank you very much. Honestly, that dung beetle is the best thing I ever tamed. <laughs> and I've got these two just over here. Might need to do maybe one more. But for now, this should be good. Uh, actually, I don't like this one here. Can I pick this up and move it maybe a little bit? Can we have it here instead? Are you watered? The water thing's just there. Not irrigated. Does it take a second? Not irrigated. Okay, hang on. Why are you not irrigated? It should. There's like a blue thing that tells you if you're in it or not. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so it needs to be... It needs to be like just here. Can we place it here? Are you irrigated? Yeah, okay. It can go here, I guess, for now. All right, check some of them. Perfect. All right. So we now have plant species, which means RG's coming down to eat all my stuff shouldn't be as much of a problem. Um, Sick. Amazing. All right, I also just need to chuck this bag. I guess I can put them in there. Um, can you re-hold this? No, can I put some more in here, maybe? No, yours all still full. All right, cool. So, are you, like, grown seedling? All right. I, I don't think it'll take too long, like, I don't know, a couple hours, if that, for that to be grown. Uh, I saw a Rex, and, of course, it went behind a rock when I went to see what it was. I just want to double-check what this is before something bad happens. Where? Oh, oh, God. It's going to be after the kangaroo. Uh, boys. There it is. Just a female twinner. Okay. Uh, Pidgeotto, can we go and kill a Rex real quick before it gets in the base? Rex, unfortunately, this is my land now. You can't be here and using this as the hunting grounds. I claimed this. I built a farm. You did not. I know this is your world, but there you go. Get shit on. All right. What we're going to do then is we're going to wrap up today's episode. We got a Megatherium. It took the second try. Uh, it's not the 150, but it's a good one. It's got good melee and decent health, which is is good. Um, we've got some plant species eggs now around the base. Uh, we've obviously got, like, the barn and stuff. We've got a better bridge. So what I'll probably do, I think I'm going to extend my fence up and around over that hill, back down to here. Because, like I said, any creatures we adopt, like that trike there and the stego we got, they're going to live in the pastures and just kind of chill. Um, and obviously, we will be building some sort of kibble shit over there. So, um, yeah, there we are then. We can wrap it up, call it a day. So if you did enjoy today's episode, we could act a bit goofy now. Make sure you whack the like. Make sure you subscribe and you ring the bell. Never notifications. Follow the social medias. Thank you very much for hanging out. I will catch you all in a bit. See you later. Bye.